Hi, in this video demonstration we're going to take a look at saving a 3D project as an archive file, uh, which will zip everything up into one nice little zip file for you, including your 3D file, uh, your, your .max file itself, all the textures you've used, as well as all of the, the proper pathing from the program to those textures that you have used, uh, into one nice little zipped up, neat little file folder that you can then take with you back and forth uh, from uh, class to home, or home to a studio, or whatever, uh, and it'll kind of preserve everything, as well as if you're, if you're turning in something to a teacher or a boss, uh, they will be able to open it on their own machines, uh, their own computers in their own offices or homes, and be able to see your character with uh, all of the textures and everything that they need uh, to properly evaluate it. Okay, so once you've got a scene, in this case I've got a uh, fully rigged uh, character, textured, and all of that good stuff, so he's kind of uh, complete and ready to be animated. Uh, and I want to save this, plus any textures and files and image maps that I have used, all in one handy location. This is going to be great for uploading your projects and your files uh, for class uh, to turn in. Anywhere you see uh, someone asking you for an archived 3D Studio file, uh, this is what they're talking about. From here, we're just going to go up to the big 3D Studio button up here in the upper left-hand corner uh, of our program. And we're going to hover over the Save As icon. Uh, when you hover over it, rather than just click it right away, you get this uh, menu pops up here, and one of the choices is Archive. Uh, choose a location, got kind of an empty folder here for this, give it a name. Uh, we can call this guy Elf uh, Complete uh, or Elf with Textures, you know, whatever you need to turn in as a progress check to your boss or your teachers, etc. And go ahead and hit the Save button. Uh, a DOS window may pop up here, yep telling you that it's kind of adding everything that you need as well as preserving those file types and once it's finished you'll find that wherever you added this save you'll have a zip file inside that zip file you'll find your main 3d studio.max folder as well as copies of any uh, folders that you used uh, various texture maps uh, or images from in your actual file Inside these, so I'll use some things from, from various textures. Uh, I'll find all the folder paths containing only what was used in my uh, final version there. All right, so there you go. How to save a correct, uh, including paths, textures, and 3D files uh, into one zip file called an archive.